Hi, I'm Michael Cavalli. I'm from Arizona and I'm a 3D animator. I had a friend, he had done a um, missionary work over in Japan and he brought back some anime and then given that in addition to uh, a, a game, and I don't know if you want me to say it's like Final Fantasy VI, but these things changed my entire life. I became obsessed. So I was just drawing this stuff nonstop after that. And I, saved up every penny I could um, and I eventually even got a scholarship in high school to go study in Japan. I uh, eventually returned back to college so I got certifications, I studied computers, yada 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 and um, I started getting heavily into 3D and from 2018 to 2020 I'm doing um, the movie posters and promos for films uh, for Harkins and then 2021, now I'm doing 3D animation for like cancer patients and people with dialysis and uh, medical industry. So uh, I am, I consider myself lucky. I saw on Reddit that a game called Sea of Stars was being promoted, but the thing that attracted me was the concept art or the cover art, whatever that was. And so early on, I saw that and I wanted to know who had done it. I saw, and I'll say specifically on Instagram is where finally I saw Bryce Co pop up and he was associated with it. I dug deeper into his background, his education. I'm not necessarily gonna be able to, to study with humans, Hayao Miyazaki, right? That's everybody would love to, or Rumiko Takahashi, that'd be amazing. Um, but I can study with Bryce and he's killing it. And he just did like a video game cover art piece. Like he's actually, he's doing it. So I, I jumped on it. I took it during COVID. So for me, it was, um, you know, I felt like I wasn't in the trenches alone. You know, Bryce, Bryce is there answering questions, but you're doing art and it feels like you're sketching along with someone, not just somebody, but somebody that's cool. And I'm lucky in the fact that Back during college, I had, you know, the coffee art group. You go to a coffee shop, you sketch, you discuss, um, and just enjoy art. And uh, there's a little bit of that, you know, it's obviously it's not, oh, you're not in the same room, but it was, during COVID, it was important and it helped me a lot. So that's, I, I, I guess I, I just enjoyed his laid back attitude and his sketching, <laughs> yeah. I was asking, I was like, oh man, I really wish I could have like a paint over of something specific. And he's like, oh, I have so many students. I don't know that I can do that for everybody. Um, but there were a couple of times he did, I mean, he would reply to my comments. Like I would write multiple things and he would take the time to elaborate and go through. And then he does have the documentation there that you can actually access and use your points or whatever to, to download. So I, I got the most out of my conversations with Bryce. The rest was really just, I think, us being supportive of, of one another, um, which not everyone is, is driven to do online learning. So for me, it, it works well. And I, I guess I didn't go into it expecting that my classmates would be pros. We'd all just be rooting for each other, hopefully, and then getting what we really need from Bryce. Yeah. Doing what you love, right? You guys have some incredible artists on there. You know, people not, not, not only Bryce, but artists that have worked, you know, for Blizzard or, you know, some of these huge game companies and they're legitimately gifted artists. The, the, the thing for me, be kind to yourself. I mean, Bryce is there and he's talking to us. It's like, be kind to yourself. And I, and I mean, at the end, it's like, do what you love. I'm Michael, and this has been Living What You Love 101.